Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Easy Fundraising and Evolve webinar. Uh, my name is Joanna Lane. I am the Education's Partnership Manager here at Easy Fundraising. Um, I'm also an ex deputy head teacher, um, and I am a current um, governor at a local primary school to me. I've also been an EVC in the past. So what we're going to cover today, so we're going to look at who we are and what we do at Easy Fundraising, um, how Easy Fundraising works, what other schools think of us, and we'll have time for some questions, and then we'll look at some top tips for success. So online shopping is increasing. Over £110 billion was spent online in 2023. Over 80% of the UK population now shops online. And of that 80%, 55% of them do at least one shop online per week. Easy fundraising is a way of raising free funding for your school. So we partner with the UK's leading retailers, there are over 8,000 of them, to turn online shopping into free donations for your school that you can use to subsidise trips. Um, so of the 8,000 retailers, we have all the big names you could think of. So we have John Lewis, M&S, Booking.com, uh, Trainline, Tesco's, Asda, Boots. I'll go on and on and um, I'll give you a few more examples as we go through. So who we are and what we do. Um, we're the largest fundraising shopping website in the UK and we support thousands of good causes. Parents and supporters collect a free donation when they do their normal online shopping, which is paid to your school. We partner with over 8,000 retailers, like I've told you, so parents can raise on everything from fashion to food. And since 2007, we've helped good causes raise over £50 million. We reached that landmark just before Christmas, um, and that's something that we're really proud of. Nearly 14 million of the 50 million has been raised by education causes. And so it just shows how well easy fundraising does work for schools and PTAs. So how it works. Um, so here are some of the benefits for you. So free, it's free funding for all schools, regardless of size. It doesn't matter how big or small you are. Uh, you can use easy fundraising. Supporters can give at no extra cost. So you're not asking your school communities, so your parents, your teachers, your volunteers, any local businesses. You're not asking them to spend any more than they usually would um, when they shop online. But retailers will simply give a donation back to your school as a thank you for shopping with them. We've got over 8,000 retailers involved and funding can be spent specifically on trips or can be spent on other areas too. It's totally up to you. So here are a few more of the retailers that we have on board. So John Lewis, eBay, Sainsbury's, Argos, Asda, M&S, Trainline, Tesco's, Booking.com, Just Eat. And so you can see we've got a really kind of wide variety of different retailers there. So you really can raise however you were shopping online. Uh, so you might be having some questions right now. You might be thinking, will it cost us anything? It won't cost you a penny. You don't have to pay to sign up to Easy Fundraising. You don't have to pay to use it. It's totally free. Um, how is Easy Fundraising funded? So when um, retailers give your school a donation to say thank you for shopping with us, they also give us a donation to say thank you for us directing you to them. And how are our donations paid? So your donations are paid four times a year. So we split the year into quarters. So January, February, March is the first quarter. It carries on like that. Um, and we have four donation days a year. So at the end of a quarter, we'll have a donation day. Um, we will tally up everything that your school has raised in that quarter, and then we will pay that to you on the donation day. So I'm going to give you a bit of a demonstration as to how Easy Fundraising works. Um, so there are different ways that you can use Easy Fundraising. The first way that you can use it is through our website. So when a supporter signs up to support your school, they'll create an easy fundraising account. And when they log in, it will look like this. So there's a search bar at the top where they can type in um, where they'd like to shop. 
Um, and they'll see down here, they'll see their donations, what they've raised. So you can see I've got some examples here where I've done some shopping on Amazon. Um, I've been shopping at Debenhams. So I bought um, a new cat litter tray actually from Debenhams and I got a £1.42 donation there. Um, and you can see booking.com as well. So over Easter, I'm going to Amsterdam with my husband um, and that was the hotel for a few nights. And so I got £22.14 donation for that, which is excellent. Um, and then I can also see the cause that I support here as well. So I can see that um, the hockey club that I support has raised nearly £600 now. And that's brilliant, actually, because they only started using easy fundraising in September. So when the, when the supporter logs on to the easy fundraising website, all they need to do is type into this bar here where they'd like to shop. So let's say I'd like to shop at Marks and Spencers. You type it in. It takes you to a page here. You click shop now and it will take you to the MS website um, and it will just look totally normal like the MS website does. It tells me that I've got up to a 2.5% donation. All I do is I shop as normal um, and once I've purchased something, that donation will be paid to the cause I support. Another way that you can use easy fundraising um, is through the app. So you can download the app onto your phone. The app looks very similar to the website. So all a supporter would do is they'd click on the app and they type into the bar where they'd like to shop. And it works exactly the same as I've just shown you. Um, and then another way you can use easy fundraising is you can download um, a browser extension called a donation reminder. Um, so you can see my donation reminder at the top there. It's this green circle here with an E in it. So I've downloaded it, which means I don't have to go through the easy fundraising website or the app now. Um, to get my donation. So if I knew I wanted to shop at Trainline, for example, I can just type in Trainline. It will take me to the Trainline website and it says click here to get a donation. I click on that and it's enabled the donation. So I'll get up to a 15% donation now when I shop on Trainline. And I just buy my train tickets as normal and that donation would go back to my cause that I'm supporting. And then another good thing about the donation reminder, um, it could be really useful if you don't know where you'd like to shop, but you know what you want to buy. So let's say I would like to buy a laptop. Simply type that in on Google. And as I scroll down, it tells me how much donation, what percentage donation I can get from different retailers. So if I shop with Curry's, I can get a 1.25% donation. I can get 1.5 from AO. 2.5 from, 2 from EE. Now keep going down and you'll keep seeing more and more of the different donations. All you need to do is click there or you can click on where it says laptops and MacBook. It will take you to the website and you shop as normal and that donation will go back to your good cause. So how you register. So you'd register your school by visiting this website here. So www.easyfundraising.org.uk forward slash evolve advice. This is the page that will come up. All you need to do is type in the name of your school in this bar here. And then it will take you uh, to the next page. And I've just entered an example here. So I just typed in testing, Joe. And so it will tell you that your school is now registered. Um, and then it will take you through some steps to register. So it will say, um, we'll get you set up so you can now start raising money when you shop online and we'll email you some tips to get you started, including how to add payment details. Uh, so you can add your bank account details on um, onto your account and that is how you'll be paid. Um, it will then ask you for a description about your cause. So you, so you can make this kind of as short as long or as long as you'd like. You can type in a brief description about your school. If you want to come back to that and don't want to do that at the moment, that's fine. You can just click skip and that will take you past there. And then you'll be asked if you want to book a free personalized coaching call. So I'd really strongly advise you book a coaching call. They're only 15 minutes. Um, you can choose a time and a day that would suit you. Um, if you click the book now button, you'll be taken to a calendar where you can choose that. Um, and you'll get to speak to one of our fundraising experts who will tell you everything you need to know about easy fundraising. Um, and they'll give you some tips on how to recruit supporters and get going with easy fundraising. 
We'll also create for you um, an easy fundraising page for your school. So here's an example. So Old Hill Primary School. So you can see they've raised nearly £850 using easy fundraising. Um, and the section where I said you could add the description about your school just comes at the, up at the bottom here. So the About Old Hill Primary School section, that's where it would show. Um, you can direct your your uh, lo your community. So your community would be your parents, your teachers, volunteers, governors, um, any local businesses. It can be anybody. It can extend even further than that. It can be families of children. It can be families of staff. You direct them to your easy fundraising page and then they can click on this button here that says sign up and support this cause which then means they'll create their own easy fundraising account um, and they'll be good to go. So they can then use our website or our app uh, to get donations or they can download the donation reminder. So you might be thinking at this point, what do other schools think? So here are some testimonials. Um, so here we can see uh, somebody's talked about how easy fundraising really makes trips happen. So it helps us with resources for the whole school and makes trips happen in this time of need um, with the cost of living crisis. You can see here this school's talked about how easy fundraising has helped enhance their school experience. Um, so the donations that they've raised will help our course provide additional activities um, for the primary school. We aim to enhance our experience at the school by providing equipment and activities such as school trips and events. And then finally, this one here talks about funding school trips. So they've spent their um, the money they've raised through easy fundraising um, on building a new multi-use games area at the school, stage lighting, and they've put it towards school trips and special events. So Q&A then. So I'm just going to have a little look in the chat and see if we've got questions here. Um, so one person has asked if um, the school needs to be a registered charity. No, you don't have to be a registered charity to use easy fundraising. Uh, when you sign up, it will ask you if you're a charity or not, and you can just click no. That's absolutely fine. Um, one person's asked, can more than one person do this for the same school? So what you'd want to do is you'd want to have one school account. So the school would sign up once to raise for the school and then um, they would recruit supporters. I suppose if you I suppose if what you're asking actually is if you could have a school account where you're raising for school trips and then have a separate account um, where you're raising for something different. Perhaps you've got a, like, a playground project or something like that. You could actually do that as well, if that's if that's what you were asking there. If you have any other questions, just pop them into the chat and I'll work through those. So top tips, ways to raise as much as possible. Um, I'd really strongly advise that you visit the Promote My Cause page um, once you've signed up to Easy Fundraising. So I'll just show you what that looks like and what you can do with the Promote My Cause page. So if I go back to Easy Fundraising here, at the top, you'll see this bar. And on the right hand side of the bar is a Promote My Cause section. So if you click on that, you'll see the name of um, the cause that you're promoting. So I'm promoting here Walton on Trent Primary School. What I can do is I can copy um, the cause page link. So if I copy that, and if I just paste that into a new tab, that link will take anybody you share it with to your cause page and they'll be able to click here. And so because I'm already signed up, it says I can switch to support this cause. Um, but for anybody who hasn't already got an easy fundraising account, it will say sign up to support this cause. So they'll be able to click there and create an easy fundraising account. You'll also find uh, on the Promote My Course page, um, you can have your own personalised QR code here. So instead of having to share that link with people, you can just use that QR code so people can scan that on their phones and sign up um, there and then. If I scroll further down the Promote My Course page, you'll see that we've got different messages that you can share on social media. Um, so if I click on this Facebook post here, you'll see that it's already pre-populated with the name of my cause. Um, and so that is a post, I could copy and paste that and post that on Facebook. There's the same here for Twitter. And then we've also got ones that you can use for WhatsApp, 
And there's an email template as well that you can use if you'd like to speak to your um, community. So if you'd like to send a message out to parents about how they can support you um, using easy fundraising, then you can send an email via that. As I scroll further down, you'll see this section here, which changes monthly. And um, there are often kind of competitions that are going on that you could you could enter. Um, you can see more about uh, that was our last donation day. So you can see who's been paid recently. Um, and then there are even more tools you can use to fundraise. If I carry on down here, we've got here, we've got more messages that you can share. Obviously, you won't want to carry on sharing the same message each time you're telling your community that you're using easy fundraising. So if I click on the Facebook material here, you can see there are different different posts you can use. So you can there's one here to sign up supporters. There's another one to remind supporters to use easy fundraising. You can also share things about what amount you're hoping to raise or what amount you've raised already. So there are different things you can share there. And there are also images here that you can download um, and share alongside those messages. If I go back here. So that's where we were. We also have some digital and print resources that you can use to help you recruit supporters. So we've got some posters, some flyers and handouts that you can download and print. Um, and there's also information here that you can add to your website. And then right at the bottom here, um, if you click on this, you'll be taken to some how-to videos. So there are videos um, on how to download the app, how to download the donation reminder. Um, there's also a section here about if you're a school and you're raising, there are even more tips in there. And then here, there's information that you can send out to your um, supporters to say, why don't you download the app? And why don't you download the donation reminder? Okay. Um, so I'd really strongly advise that you ask people to download load the donation reminder. So you've seen how it works. I've demonstrated it to you. And we find that donation reminder users earn three times more than users who don't have the donation reminder. And that's simply because it makes it pretty much impossible to forget to use easy fundraising because you have those pop-ups saying, do you want to get a donation? Or you have the sections that say you can raise 5% when you shop here. Um, your supporters can get donations from grocery shopping. So here are a list of some of the supermarkets that, um, that we partner with, and you can see the amount that they'll offer for home deliveries. So for a first order, you can see Morrison's and Tesco's offer £3.50, Asda offer £2.50, Sainsbury's offer £5.50. So you can see those different amounts there. And then you can see for existing customer orders, the amount different supermarkets offer. So Morrison's offer £2, Tesco's offer £1.75, pound from Asda. So you can see those there. And then some supermarkets also um, allow you to get donations if you do a click and collect order as well. So you can see the different amounts on there. Um, this is a document that I'll send around to you after the webinar, um, but it's basically showing you how much one supporter could raise in a year. Um, so we've put the months on a timeline. So we haven't used every single month, but we've put most of the months on here. And then we've put a way that you could raise a donation. So they're just some examples. Um, if you had a supporter who was booking a family holiday, they might raise a donation with TUI. We've got lots of different other holiday providers um, who are partnered with us. That's just an example there. Um, you could see in March, it might be time to upgrade your TV and broadband package. Um, Sky offer up to a £12.50 donation when you do that through them. Um, in April, it might be time to buy home insurance so you can get up to a £17 donation um, using confused.com. Uh, so there are loads of different ways here. It's not that you have to do it in that particular month. We were just trying to put together a bit of an idea of how much one person could raise in a year. So you can see here, if it was time to upgrade your mobile phone, you can get up to a £45 donation from O2. Um, pet plan, if you're buying pet insurance from them, you can get up to a £21 donation. Um, in July, it might be time um, for the supporter to buy their children some new school uniform and shoes. So you could get a £4.50 donation there from m and There's no limit on that one. That's just an example. 
Um, in August, it might be time to trade in your old car. You can get up to a £40 donation when you do that with We Buy Any Car. And then you can see here in September, um, it might be time to buy car insurance. There's an, You can get up to £18 if you do that through confused.com. You might buy a sofa um, from SCS in October. You can get a £13 donation there. Again, there's no limit on that. And then a year, if you did your year's grocery shopping through Easy Fundraising with Tesco's, you could get an £84 donation there. So you can see that comes to a total of £315 in a year. Um, and that's not even including other kind of general online shops that you might do for birthday presents, um, for beauty products, whatever else they might be buying online. So I'll send that document round after this webinar so you've got a copy of that. So just to summarise, three reasons to use Easy Fundraising. We've got over 8,000 UK retail retailers who will donate to your school. It's totally free. If you're not using Easy Fundraising, then that money just isn't coming into your school. You don't have to pay anything for it. If you sign up, then you can get that those donations rolling into your school for free. Um, anything from a takeaway to a train ticket can raise a donation. It's really easy to implement and manage. Um, it generates funds all year round with very little effort. All you need to do is keep sharing the, the fact that you're using easy fundraising um, as a fundraising tool to so keep asking people to sign up, um, to download the app, to download the, the donation reminder. And it helps to fund trips during the cost of living crisis. So we all know that uh, times are tough at the moment, um, especially for certain families and we really want trips to be as inclusive as possible. We want to get as many people on those trips as possible. So easy fundraising is a way that you can subsidize the cost of those trips. Um, I'll just have a look if we've got any more questions. Give me one second. Haven't got any more questions at the moment. Um, if you think of any other questions after this session, then what you can do is you can drop me an email and I can answer those for you. Um, so your final step, if you haven't already signed up, this is the link that you can use to sign up to Easy Fundraising and to get started. Thank you very much for your time today. Um, again, if you have any other questions about anything to do with Easy Fundraising, just drop me an email. Thank you very much.